Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To pay one employee at a time or to enter a handwritten payroll check, select Tasks Payroll Entry from the menu bar to open the Payroll Entry window. Then select the employee ID of the employee for whom you are creating the paycheck from the employee ID dropdown. If you plan on printing the check, leave the check number field blank as you will assign the check number during the printing routine. If you don't plan on printing the check or are recording a handwritten paycheck, enter the number of the paycheck that was issued into the check number field. Enter the date to print on the paycheck into the date field. In the cash account field, the last account used for a paycheck appears. You can change this account if needed. Enter the pay period ending date into the pay period ends date field. The hourly rates or salary amounts for the selected employee appear in the Salary Amounts Hours Worked section at the bottom of this window. You can check and or enter the amount to pay salaried employees here, or enter the number of hours worked per pay level type in the Salary slash Hours column for hourly employees. The employee and employer deductions, additions, and contributions appear in the area to the right. You can change the amount in these fields if needed. To print the paycheck if needed, click the Print button in the Windows toolbar. To save the paycheck if you don't need to print it, click the Save button in the Windows toolbar instead. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.